green is a phrase you hear all the time. Well, we found a company in Montour County that is going green in more ways than one. Lakeville Specialty Produce in Washingtonville began originally in 1976 as Agronautics in Salisbury, Connecticut. Agronautics came into existence during the heyday of hydroponic farming, that is, growing plants without soil. A larger facility was constructed in Hopewell Junction, New York, to grow bib lettuce and salad spinach. When the opportunity arose to build a greenhouse in Washingtonville, Agronautics came to Montour County. Back in 1985, we, we began construction on this facility with the idea that PPL would provide warm water to the greenhouse for the use in heating. It was called wastewater. It's basically water that's still warm from the, from the process of generating electricity that normally goes to the vapor towers that you see here in Washingtonville to be cooled down. Um, so in effect, our greenhouse is an extension of their cooling system. Agronautics Incorporated went bankrupt and the Washingtonville facility was purchased by a former Agronautics partner. Over the years, he sold shares of the company now called Lakeville Specialty Produce to the employees. There are now 15 employee shareholders who own the company. Today, Lakeville produces several types of baby lettuces hydroponically in a controlled greenhouse environment, year round. In the last 25 years, production at Lakeville has grown, literally. They have expanded quite a bit, uh, and we haven't actually grown in physical size. We're the, still the same acre and a quarter pretty much as we were back when the facility was built in 1985. But rather than expanding and putting on more structure to grow in, we've made the operation more efficient. Um, we've found ways to grow more in less space. How have they done that? By growing smaller plants. In the early 1990s, Lakeville made the move to growing a variety of baby lettuces. They started to mix in a European salad green called mosh, which was not readily available in the U.S. Lakeville was able to adapt mosh to hydroponic growing, and it is now their mainstay. It's hard to grow. Um, we've unlocked some of the secrets to do that, and our environment and our system is perfect for doing mosh year-round, which not everybody can do. Lakeville's products are sold primarily through the distributor market to restaurants and catering services. We are not, unfortunately, not a buy local, buy fresh company. Very, very much behind that whole principle, but it doesn't work for our type of product. Our product um, has been favored by the high-end white linen tablecloth restaurant industry. That's primarily where most of it goes. Because the lettuces are grown hydroponically, they are shipped with a root cube attached, so the plant is still alive and growing. That gives Lakeville's produce a shelf life of at least two weeks. In order to see just how a hydroponic system works, Richard Towert, the Director of Operations, gave us a tour of their greenhouse. The greenhouse itself is a growing tool because it enables us to manage the environment. We we're growing in a bubble, and so we can control things like temperature and humidity and actually even light levels because we have uh, artificial lighting mm -hmm. and we also have a shade curtain system. Seeds are germinated in the growing cubes. These cubes are made by the Oasis Company. Yes, that's the same company that makes the green foam used in flower arranging. The cubes are seeded in trays and then kept in 100% humidity by nozzles that periodically mist the trays with fresh water. In just four days, the seeds germinate. For the next 10 days or so, the seedlings continue to grow here until they are transplanted into the gullies in the greenhouse bays. Nutrient film technique is used to feed these growing plants. Water is filtered, treated with ultraviolet light, and a water-soluble fertilizer is added. It's pumped up through a pipe to the upper end of the plants, and then from that point, it's gravity fed all the way back past the plants, mm -hmm. and it gets collected in a gutter, and it, it's returned to the sump where it gets the whole cycle repeats, it's constant uh, circulation. Nutrients are absorbed by the plant from the water as it passes by. After several days in the nutrient solution, another transplant occurs and the lettuces are spread further apart to allow more room for growth. The gullies move on tracks that run the length of the greenhouse. As plants age, their gullies are pushed from one end of the bay and are ready for harvest when they reach the other end. We don't fill the greenhouse and then empty it. Mm -hmm. We 
we put in little bits every day right. so that we always have a little bit to harvest every day and mm -hmm. that way we always have product available. The growing crew oversees seeding through harvest and is in charge of managing the growing environment. When plants are ready, the harvest crew takes over. Gullies are transported from the bays to the packing line. Here, extra roots are removed, the plant is inspected, and then packed into cases. While we were visiting Upland Cress, a type of watercress was being harvested. The harvest crew manages quality control and record keeping as well. Lakeville Produce is especially concerned with food safety. Because their products are grown in a greenhouse, they have control over what comes in contact with their lettuces. They keep excellent records of each generation of plants, all of which is audited annually by a third party. Not only is the water that carries the nutrient solution recycled, but also the fertilizer itself. The nutrient solution itself is pumped to a larger system where it is feeding other parts of the greenhouse and that system is large enough that the plant usage and evaporation can reduce the volume so that we can keep adding to it. Wow. That way we, we never have to waste anything to the environment. In keeping with their green theme, even the cooling system is energy efficient. It's called evaporative cooling. It's basically layers of cardboard, corrugated board that are bonded together. And there's pipe at the top that trickles water down through the corrugation, gets collected in a trough at the bottom and returns to a tank. Mm -hmm. As the air comes through this, these wet pads in the summertime, it's not mm -hmm. running right now, but as the air comes through, it condenses and it cools and it can actually drop the temperature about a good 10 degrees. In addition to baby lettuce, Lakeville also produces a rainbow mix of microgreens. Most of the baby lettuces go from seed to harvest in 32 to 34 days, three times faster than it would be grown in a field. Microgreens, however, are ready for harvest in just seven days after seeding. Lakeville Specialty Produce packs and ships approximately 7,000 cases each week, which are then flown to major cities all over the country. Hydroponic Specialty Lettuces, right here in your neighborhood. Well, that's our show. Be sure to check out our fan site on Facebook and keep emailing me your story ideas to Jen Wakeman at ccn-news.com. I'm your host, Jennifer Wakeman. Thanks for watching.